Lighters up, Libra. It's your girl, the Stoner Girl Tarot, back with another video, your weekly general tarot reading, Libra. Peace and blessings to all of you. I hope you are doing well. I hope you are safe. Thank you for subscribing and hitting that notification bell to be notified of the next smoke session, Libra. You already know the drill. Roll up with me, light up with me. Drop down in the comments. Let me know what you're smoking on. And if you don't smoke, no worries. You're still more than welcome. Libra, you already know this is not a personal reading. It's a reading for the collective. So everything may not fit your situation. That's cool. Take whatever applies and let the rest fly. Bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Swords. So this is someone who... Um, it's rethinking an ending, rethinking the past. Maybe you want to revive something. Maybe you or your person want to revive something. I'm gonna put this out and let's see what's coming up for you this week, Libra. What's coming up for Libra this week, Spirit? No justice, no peace. <laughs> Basically, you got the justice in reverse. You got the moon in reverse. You got the temperance in reverse. No justice, no peace. Something's not balanced and you're paranoid about it because you really can't put your finger on it. Some of you may think that someone is playing you. You may see some shit that may put that thought in your mind or like somebody is not who they say they are. You could be dealing with a Libra, a Cancer, or a Sagittarius. Let's do some clarifying. What's this about? Some of you could be having an issue over money, like someone thinks that you're not paying or giving your fair share and they keep getting on your nerves about it. What else? Or maybe um, it's something that you can't let go of, maybe. So with the seven of cups in reverse, it's like, okay, I know what I want now. Maybe before I didn't know what I want, but I know what I want now. And maybe this is a situation where you're staying up at night. You are thinking about this shit all the time because you're thinking someone has made you an option or you can't let go of the fact that someone at least made you feel like you were an option. So let's dig deeper. Where is this coming from? Some of you are with someone and you were waiting for them to come back and you found out they were seeing someone else or they were with someone the whole time. Maybe this person is finding that out about you. We got the two of wands in reverse. We got the three of wands upright. We got the nine of wands upright. You could be dealing with a Leo Sagittarius or um, Aries. Someone could have like told you at the last minute they didn't want to go somewhere with you. Um, and if this has, if this is resonating with money, a money situation, someone could have stuck you with the bill or stuck you paying something. And it's like, wait a minute, I've been waiting on you all this time. And now you saying you don't want to go. What else? Oh, I've been waiting for you to work this out and now you don't want to be with me you want to be with someone else so some of you could be feeling guilty 
because you didn't use logic you made a heart overhead decision about this person or maybe you just felt like this person did you dog ass dirty like you didn't have to do me like that yeah we have the ten of wands so yeah this person may have had you rethinking about giving your cup of love to this person whereas before you may have not wanted this they made you believe that you could have ace of cups with them and they ended up leaving you or you left the situation how does a libra person feel about them how does this person feel about Libra? How does this person feel about Libra? Was it the Ten of Wands or the Ten of Swords that was at the bottom of the deck? Because here's the, I think it was the Ten of Swords. So here's the Ten of Swords in reverse. We got the Tower in reverse. Scorpio energy. Someone is rethinking and wants to maybe come forward and give their truth or talk about this situation, at least with the Ace of Swords here. They want to bring clarity um, or they're wanting you to bring clarity to the situation, Libra, because um, they want the drama to be over with this tower in reverse. This is also who... This is this this uh, this could be also someone who like, again, they felt a certain way in the past and now they don't. That's what I'm getting. So that's how your person feels. Um, they want to give you the truth. They want to come forward and give you the truth. They've been rethinking about it or they want you to give them the truth. How do you feel, Libra? You want to come, yeah, with the Knight of Cups. Some of y'all still don't want a relationship with this person because you're focusing on yourself, but you definitely want to come towards this person with the Knight of Cups. You may just want to date. You may not want anything serious, but you definitely want to see this person. Tell them how you feel. You may just not want a relationship. You could be dealing with a Taurus. So what's the obstacle? Okay. Someone feels like they may have misjudged the situation and so they want to come back around. This person is focusing on their coin you or your person so you could be dealing with a leo with the strength card in reverse here someone is contemplating reaching out definitely with the eight of pentacles here um the obstacle is like someone may not know what to say they may not know what to do because again someone in this situation felt really strongly about one thing in the past and now they don't anymore because they have been rethinking the situation so this person is wondering what's the best technique to use when trying to reach out to you or you're thinking about this libra what's the outcome for this week for libra and their person Yeah, someone like with the Knight of Knights of Swords, you definitely want to come rushing in and maybe again delivering a message, delivering truth. Um, some of you feel like you won't be successful because the person that you're dealing with, possibly an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius, you think they ain't gonna want to hear what you gotta say. You think they ain't trying to hear it. Tell me more. Yeah, you're definitely moving towards this person. This is Cancer energy with the chariot. 
Some of you fear that this person has moved on. What other messages do you have for Libra? Pisces energy here. This is a situation that you feel, or at least a, a relationship that you feel is worth fighting for. Like maybe you don't like the way that it ended and because of that you can't let go of the past with the Six of Cups in reverse here. We got the Five of Wands, we got the High Priestess in reverse, so this is Pisces energy. Um, you could be hiding something or you're not wanting to deal with some shit that you did or said with this Five of Swords. Maybe you have a fear, you know, that it may cause another argument. And some of you, you don't want to argue. You just want to make it right or, you know, like get out of this energy that it's in. So, yeah, drop down in the comments. Let me know if that resonates. I am going to draw a crystal oracle card. So whatever crystal comes out is the crystal that spirit feels will help you in the situation. So we have steel bite and turquoise. Okay, so turquoise is, you know, for your throat chakra. So basically, this helps to basically keep your communication in check and also gives you the right to feel what you feel, but control your emotions as well. So maybe you're dealing with a, someone who really pissed you off. This will help to keep your emotions in check. And then with the steel bite, this is for um, your heart and your sacral chakra. Some of you are intuitive and, you know, women's intuition. They don't call it women's intuition for nothing. This will help to balance your heart and your sacral chakra. So if you see some bullshit, if you feel some bullshit, then it probably is some bullshit. This will help you to um, be more receptive and confident in your intuition. Make it more stronger. Okay, Libra. Man, well, thank you so much, Libra. Let me know if this resonates and I will see you on the next smoke session.